Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. They're obviously popping popcorn in the background. Just ignore the background noise. This weekend in the NFL, first let me give you an overview. I think the winner of the Green Bay-New York Giants game is likely to beat the Dallas Cowboys, right? There are going to be some upsets in the playoffs. I believe that the Atlanta Falcons, who right now you could get on a futures play at 9-1 to one to win it all, might well host the NFC Championship game because I don't believe that the Seattle Seahawks are the same team on the road that they are at home nor do I believe that the Seattle Seahawks without Earl Thomas are the same Seattle Seahawks. I do expect Seattle to beat Detroit. In the AFC, I really only see three teams that have a chance of winning it all, right? The team that's hosting everything for as long as they're viable, the New England Patriots, right? The number two seed the Kansas City Chiefs and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think everyone else in the AFC has foundational holes that will cost them. So, with that premise, and I understand you might disagree, I'm just telling you my point of view. The bets I like for this weekend, Wild Card Weekend, and I'm making this video late on Friday the 6th, 2017. The bets I like are in the Oakland Raider Houston Texan game. I like the under 37 points. Right? The under 37. I wonder whether Oakland's third string quarterback is going to be able to mount much of an offense. If they try to rely on running the football, that's going to take time off the clock. Right? Brock Osweiler just hasn't been offensively blessed this year. Houston's offense under him has struggled. Houston has one of the better defenses in the National Football League. I like the under 37 points. In the New York Giants and Green Bay game, I like the New York Giants getting five points. Folks, the Giant defense has been playing inspired football. I'm expecting a lower scoring game. And in a lower scoring game in a playoff atmosphere, in my opinion, five points are a lot. Right? Also, all this hype about Green Bay not losing a playoff game at home. Uh, I believe I saw Green Bay lose a playoff game at home against the San Francisco 49ers with Colin Kaepernick a little while ago, right? Green Bay is not as bulletproof as we all want to believe. Finally, I don't want to play around with double-digit point spreads, but I do like the Pittsburgh Steelers on a money line, minus 600. It's an expensive money line, but I like the Steelers on a money line over the Miami Dolphins, right? Simply put, last year, the Steelers made the playoffs, beat Cincinnati, without Levy and Bell, then lost Antonio Brown and still mounted one of the better challenges to the Denver Broncos, who ended up being the eventual champions. Right? This year they have Antonio Brown. This year they have Levy and Bell. Right? I think Big Ben in the playoffs with these tools uh, has more than enough to work with. I'm expecting the Steelers at home against a team they did poorly against earlier in the season to get some revenge and to uh, realize the promise on a team that has made the playoffs several times in the last few years. So those are the games I like this weekend. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your picks in the comment section to this video. And if you have a big picture, especially one that differs from mine, if you feel the Cowboys, the one seed in the NFC, are going to win the NFC, or if you feel there's a team other than New England, Kansas City, and Pittsburgh that has a chance in the AFC. I hope you leave that information in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.